This is our pails and rails series to increase range of motion in the hips. We're gonna start in these 90-90 positions. I like to take a shoe. The first one is an external rotation bias. We like the shoe in the hip crease here. Keeps the back flat. Essentially with pails and rails, we're gonna go through four movements. We're gonna find our range of motion first. Generally 20 to 30 seconds each movement. So we're gonna find that range of motion. Our back stays nice and flat, chest stays out. We're moving through our hip. We're trying to pinch this shoe in between our hip crease here. After that 20 to 30 second mark, we're gonna go down into the ground. So we're gonna to try to push the shin down into the ground. We're gonna ramp our intensity up from about 30%. So we'll start at 30, ramp up to 40, 50, 60, 70. I like to stay at about 70 to 80 at the peak and we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds, pushing down. From there, we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna to try to pull this leg up, same process, 30%, 40%, going all the way up to about 70 or 80 and holding for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once that's done, we'll find our new range of motion. We should have, we should have gained range of motion from this essentially PNF stretch. We find our new range of motion, and again, hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Generally, I like to do two to three sets through this. This is the external rotation. For internal rotation, we're gonna take the shoe, put it on the back ankle here. We're gonna open up and rotate into internal rotation. What we want here, if you feel a big pinch from impingement, hip impingement here, FAI, we want our athletes to lean back into it a little bit. If you don't, the more we can sit up into it, the better. All right, so we're gonna start with that same four process for that same four movement patterns. We're gonna turn in and find our range of motion here. 20 to 30 second hold. Then we're gonna push down into the ground. I'm trying to push into my shoe. 20 to 30 seconds there, ramping up our intensity from 30 to 70 or 80%. After that hold, you're gonna to try to pick it up. All right, so we're actively staying in the same position. We're actively gonna to try to pick up that foot off the shoe, ramping up our intensity from 30 to 70 or 80, 20 to 30 second hold. Once that's complete, we find a new range and we can turn into it even further. 20 to 30 second hold on that. Repeat that two to three times, and then we'll switch legs on the other side. That's our pails and rails series for the hip.